What's going on guys? So I'm gonna be showing you how to add the Binance Smart Chain network to your MetaMask wallet because I've been getting a lot of questions about that uh, because it doesn't automatically come onto your MetaMask wallet. So here's how you do it. So make sure you have MetaMask downloaded and it's in your extensions. You're gonna click on it, go to Ethereum where it says Ethereum mainnet up here. And you're gonna to wanna to go down to custom RPC. Uh, now, before you do this, you're going to just want to have this information ready to go. So you're going to go uh, onto this website and I'll put a link down in the description and it's you know going to have everything you need. So you're going to go down to where it says mainnet and this is all the information that you're going to be adding. So let's go over to custom RPC, then network name, smart chain. Uh, new RPC URL, that is this thing right over here. Then the chain ID is 56. And B. And then the URL. And then you're going to press save. Um, start swapping. Just get out of that. You don't need to do that. And um, here you are. So you got it. It's the smart chain network. And it's added to your MetaMask. And that's pretty much it. Now this is the main net network. So as you can see, this is probably the one you're looking for. So once you have that added, it'll show up in your MetaMask. Um, and just make sure that when you are, you know, sending anything to your smart chain, to the Binance smart chain, don't send it to your Ethereum address because it could be lost forever. So just always make sure you go down to smart chain especially for the purchases that we've been talking about, like Evergrow coin. In the last video that I, the tutorial that I posted, uh, it shows you how to get Evergrow coin, but um, I'll show you just one more time real quick. So you're going to want to go to Evergrow coin contract address, and then you're going to go to the BSC scan, this one, uh, copy this address, go to MetaMask, then you're going to do import tokens. So token contract address paste automatically fills it out for you. Add. There you go. So that is the Evergrow coin token, you know, and that's pretty much it, guys. So I just showed you how to add the Binance Smart Chain network. I would honestly do instead of just Smart Chain, make it Binance Smart Chain. It helps me remember. Yeah, and then, you know, you have to manually import the Evergrow coin contract address for you to have it in the wallet. You know, once that's done and you download the Binance Smart Chain wallet, it, it'll be very easy to, you know, see like your funds in both the Binance Smart Chain wallet and your MetaMask wallet when you connect them. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this helped. Uh, please like and subscribe. And really, honestly, we love the questions that you guys ask in the comments. So if you need any more help at all, just let us know. And we will make a video like this. All right, you guys.